to disconnect your battery, all you need to do is remove the negative first. Negative is usually blue, or you see the negative symbol like that. Positive is red and with a plus sign. Remove the negative first, like so. If the spanner or shifter hits the body of the car, it will not spark up. Once you've disconnected the negative, remove it to the side. Then move on to the positive. If you've done so, once you're disconnecting the positive and the spanner or shifter hits the body of the car, it will not spark up or cause injury. That's how you remove the terminals from the battery. Then remove the bracket and lift out the battery. When you have the battery removed from your car, you'll have to have a charger. You can buy a charger. They range between $50 and $150. Um, depending on what you need it for, you can just get a cheap one. If you're going to be using it all the time, get a nice one. This one's a mid-range one. Usually they have two settings, an automatic and a boost. Depending on how much you're in a hurry, um, you'd put on boost if you only want it for a few hours charge. If you're going to do it overnight, put on automatic. Yeah, best not to be impatient and let it charge overnight for a good job. Um, it comes with two little clamps there and it's pretty basic before you connect the clamps to the battery if your battery has these plugs here remove them after removing these little plugs here uh, don't take them off all the way they can just sit on top it's just meant to breathe um, make sure your battery is sitting on something wooden or so yeah probably wooden cardboard anything plastic just make sure it's not sitting on any concrete because it will help break the battery you don't want that now when you remove these little plugs you look on the side here and see the level of the water and the fluids inside here if they are low you'll need to top them up uh, you can buy that from the shops it's called distilled water and you add that in here now if you can't get your hands on distilled water from the shops for some reason you can usually find distilled water in fountains it's usually distilled water the stuff in fountains so just grab some from a fountain don't grab some from the tap not recommending it your battery will die fairly quickly if you use normal household water make sure when connecting these terminals to the battery the charger is unplugged or switched off. If these clamps here touch each other, it will spark up and cause injury. Connect the positive and then negative to the battery. Make sure everything's connected well. Then plug in the charger. Putting a battery back in your car. First you'll need to place the battery in the battery holder then connect the bracket after connecting the bracket you'd first put on the positive so therefore if you touch anything it won't spark up because the negative's not connected after the positive has been connected you would then for put the negative on if the negative touches the body you will not do damage to your vehicle or your hand 